Hey guys, so today we're talking about one of the key fundamental skills uh, in all of middle school math, especially 7th and 8th grade math, and that is recognizing uh, proportional relationships. In this case, we're talking about unit rates, uh, talking about things in terms of, you know, in this case, miles per hour or how many students per teacher or anything like that. You're always talking about things in terms of per one of whatever you're talking about. Okay, this question is going to be about miles per hour, obviously, so that's going to be talking about how many miles per one hour. So, the important thing to do, of course, is just to look at all the information. William can run one half a mile in one tenth of an hour. How many miles can he run in one hour? So, obviously, here we have he has half a mile and one tenth of an hour in which he can do that. Now, what's really key here is to look and ask or see what we're being asked to do as far as what order they want their answer. So, how many miles can he run per hour? That's important. How many miles per one hour? Well, that is the unit rate. So, and we're going to keep that order, miles per hour. So, when we do our unit rate, we're going to keep that in terms of miles per hour. This is the order in which we're going to stay. So, we're going to do this any other way that you would be doing a how many per type problem. We're going to divide. Okay, and we're going to say that one half of a mile is being divided by, excuse me, one tenth of an hour. Now, the numbers here are going to work out just as you might expect. We're going to divide here. One half divided by one tenth is actually five. Now, what we're going to run into here is we have these two units that have to go somewhere. Now, if they were the same unit, they could cancel each other out, but they're not. They're units that don't really work. Uh, in the same type of group. One is distance and one is time. So we actually are going to keep both of them and we're going to say that this is five miles per hour. And this would be our unit rate. Okay, very simple. All right, now you could also break this down graphically with one of these unit box setups here. Okay, so here we have uh, an entire hour represented in groups. Now, I've kept the same color as the time here for a reason. This entire box represents one hour, and I've cut this into ten equal sections because we were told that he runs this speed in terms of tenth of an hour. And inside each one of these tenths of an hour, he can actually run a half mile. Every single one of these gets a half mile because he runs the same distance, assumingly, the story says he does. He runs the same distance in every single one of these. Now, once you get to this point, you can start to see there are a couple ways to figure this out. Someone could multiply one half times ten and they're going to end up with five, just like in our algebraic version. Or maybe even a more simple way to do this would just be to section this off and say, well, there's two halves, that's a whole. There are two halves, that's a whole, and go all the way through this until everything has actually been paired up, and you have these five ones here, which, just like up here, equal five miles per hour. Okay, so there you go, you have two ways of finding this. You have the algebraic way up here, and down here a symbolic way. Both these are great ways to show how to put things in terms of one whole. Alright, thanks a lot guys.